Today I went to the school. There was a meeting for the mothers. Okay. I asked about the kids. They say their performance is fine, except for Redan. Which one is he? Your son. I know, but which wife's son is he? Khawla's son. Oh yeah, go on, what's his issue? The teacher said that Redan is tricking the kids. How is he tricking them? He buys their sandwich in the morning for a quarter. Then sells them back to them for 50 cents at noon when they are hungry. But that's business, not trickery. No, it's wrong. It's not wrong. He is business minded, just like me. Who is this woman at the door? Let me check. No, stay here. I will go see. Hey, sweetheart, what brings you here today? Sweetheart, you idiot. Habeske, what's this disguise? I knew you had cameras and we didn't open the door. So I disguised myself to sneak in. You are exploiting my weakness. You are done, Habeske. Shut up and pay me my money. What money? The six hundred dollar you owe me for the three months. How about I'll give you one of my kids instead of the money? No way, your kids are little devils. What if I sing at your next party all night instead? No thanks, we don't need a singer whose voice sounds like a tractor engine. What's happening, Abziadan? Why are you still in those clothes? Say that to Abeske, he's been chasing me for his money. Hurry up, we are late for the game. Hey Khalaf, how about a deal? Our team against yours. No way, we don't play with gangsters. Hold on, Abhamudi. Yes, Abaska, go on. If we score first, you pay me today. If you score first, you are off the hook. Throw it for me, Abhamudi. Goal! Who is the goal for? For them! What's your problem? Uh, the ball crossed the line! No it didn't! I swear it did! No it didn't! Let's check with the referee! No! Let's check the bar! Uh, Qasim where is it please? This isn't Kafnu! Where would I find the bar? Then we will go to Abhabeshkel! He will pull up the footage from the satellite. There is no satellite recording your match, especially from the perspective you want. Come on, Abhaveshkel, there must be something. Nope, nothing here. Abhaveshkel, even if your granddad shows up, you won't get a penny you from You are me. going to pay me today. Don't try to weasel out of it. You threaten me? Come closer, I will knock you out. Wait, there is a way to know for sure, but it's complicated and expensive. Money isn't an issue of Habeshkel. I have got $11 for this mission. We will have to go back in time and watch the match again. Didn't you say we can't go back in time? This is more complicated and has plenty of details. <laughs> is it as confusing as the time you explained time itself and I didn't get it? Even more. But to understand it, we will need to go to space and see the match. <laughs> yeah, let's go to space. Captain, get the rocket ready. Wow, look at the stars and galaxies. It's amazing. We have always known we live in a universe with dimensions. Do you know how many? There is only one, and I insist on my answer. Zabur, don't confuse us. I live in two dimensions. Yeah, because you are a flat one. It used to be thought the universe had three dimensions, height, width, and depth, until Einstein had time as the fourth dimension. Einstein again with his confusing stuff. As adding the time in the formula, these dimensions create a web called the fabric of space-time. So time and space are linked. Exactly. Like a sheet of a cloth that can be bent and deformed. And what bends it? The mass of objects. Bigger mass, bigger warp. Like the sun, which bends the time-space fabric. And we are hovering around it. Isn't that the gravity? Exactly. So when the orange fell on Napoleon, it was a space-time fabric bent, right? 
Yes, but it was apple fell on Newton, not orange and Napoleon. So can't we move through this fabric to go back in time? No, because of two things, speed and entropy, and these two things makes the time go forward only. Uh -huh. uh, explain it again, uh, please. Let's leave entropy for later. Speed is what limits us. We can't go faster than light, so we can't go back in time. And if we travel at the speed of light, time would stop completely. <clears throat> Don't tell me the light is faster than Nissan GTR. Light speed is 300,000 km per second. <clears throat> oh my dear God. But what's the point if we can't move faster than the light? How we are supposed to go back and watch the game? We are going to pull a fast one and beat the speed of light. Remember earlier when I told you space time is like a fabric? Yeah, I remember. Well, sometimes that fabric falls, and through that fall, a tunnel forms. They called it a wormhole. Now, how long ago was your game? Around two hours ago. That's perfect. We can use the wormhole to jump to a planet that's two light hours away and catch the game. <clears throat> Seriously, you want to throw us into a wormhole just for two hours? Two light hours means over two billion kilometers. <clears throat> two billion what? Alright, now from this planet, you can use the telescope and watch yourself two hours in the past. Let me see. Yep, there we are, just getting onto the field. Let me see. Hold on, I will put it on a big screen so everyone can uh -huh, see. There I am, about to take the free kick. Aha, uh -huh, it didn't cross the line. You are right, it didn't. All right, get my money ready when we get back. I told you I will give you one of my kids. Stop nagging. I will give you your money, Abaska. Stop bickering like children. Zabur, uh, when did you get all generous? Abhabashkel, I am still not getting it. Uh, how did we just watch ourselves from two hours ago? Muhammad, even I got it. Uh, why are you so slow? You should eat more greens. Uh, they will help with that. Everything we see happens after light bounces off it and reaches our eyes. And since light has a speed limit, it takes time to get to us. So what about those stars and galaxies that are millions of light years away? Well, those are all in the past. The light is only reaching us now. So when you look at the stars, you are literally seeing the past. Aha! Uh -huh. And when you see a star twinkling in the sky, it might have actually died out of millions of years ago. But because of the distance, its light is just getting to us now. Wow, my brain feels like it's going to explode. So, Habeshkel, we just saw the game from two hours ago. Can you show us something from like a thousand years ago? I could, but I am not sure you guys would follow the rules. We promise we will follow them this time. If you don't, we will be in way more trouble than you can imagine. We will do exactly as you say. All right then, Captain, start the ship. إذا عجبكم الفيديو لا تنسون تدوسون لايك وتشتركون بالقناة وتفعلون الجرس حتى يوصلكم كل شيء جديد